welcome back to Light Spot. Yeah, so today is on a Saturday and I'll be going to the Goretti to shop for meat. Yeah, meat is sold at a wholesale price of 330 per kg. And if you want minced meat, you add 15 more shillings to mince the meat because not everyone in the butchery has that mincer. Yeah, so come with me as we go and explore where we can get meat at cheaper at a cheaper price. I'll be buying three kgs, two kgs steak and one kg minced meat. But if you have a bigger family, you can buy more so that you can store even in your freezer and cook many times because in these butcheries uh, in town you get at 400 at for, for 60 to 500 but there you get at 330 so imagine maybe you're buying 10 kgs that's 3300 plus fare from 87 to the correct it's just 50 bomb. so to and fro it's 100 you'll be saving a lot of money a lot yeah, so come with me. The Goretti, there is a lot of noise. The rest of the video will not have a lot of talking. Yeah, but we'll get back home and see how to, to cook your meat after you buy from a butchery and how to store it in your freezer. Yeah, even in this video, we'll see, you will see me doing a, a trending challenge. Yeah, you can also follow me on TikTok at Mary and the Brand. Check even the view of where I live. Check that view. Check that view. back in the house yeah it's now at night and i want to show you how to wash because you don't know where the meat like you may pity kwa mikono gani and after washing it how you cook it and then store it in your freezer yeah so join me so here i am cutting the big chunks of meat and slicing them into smaller sizes and taking away what what is unnecessary then that's part of the meat that i have not already sorted yeah and now this is the meat that i've already sorted and i want it to i want to warm some water and put some vinegar so that i can 
wash it so that's the water it's heating up yeah and this is the vinegar that I'll be using and that's the meat over there I've already sorted it out yeah so I will wash with the warm water and the vinegar at least two three cups yeah you wash and then rinse then you can now cook it or rather boil it you boil it first before you cook whatever you want to cook imagine this is 2 kg of meat where I leave meat is sold between 460 to 500 so let's reason together for 60 let's say when at the least it's for 60 for 60 minus 330 that's 130 130 plus times 2 that's 260 bob I have said saved 260 bob on 2 kgs of meat plus the minced meat that I bought so 260 plus another 130 so imagine you're buying 10 kgs of meat imagine how much you can save by going there so kindly consider buying your meat at Dagoretti at a cheaper price the reason it is being sold cheap at a cheaper price is because there is a slaughterhouse nearby and so all the butcheries around they go and take their meat from there and so it's cheaper like there are a lot of slaughterhouses there yeah so kindly consider buying it there and save save a coin yeah remember this channel we educate each other on how we can save money on some little things that we can go and find somewhere else at a cheaper price i hope you get me i hope you understand me i hope you have learned something from this video yeah so by two cups i mean i'll be using this this lid to measure so i'll put at least two three four cups of vinegar and the hot water warm water that's the water it has already heated up yeah so let me wash wash them it's wash 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 let me do the wash wash business yeah, so that's it i think the water was a lot yeah so somehow how, some of the water has remained and i lease it to boil i lease it to boil the meat the reason you shouldn't put a lot of oil in your meat as you cook your stew you see there are a lot of fats in the meat so adding more oil will make you eat a, or rather consume a lot of oil and you'll gain weight <laughs> uh, yeah so it's advisable as you cook your meat to your preferred stew kindly don't put a lot of oil yeah, so I'm doing this so that every piece of meat can can, can get into contact with the vinegar that I've put yeah then I will rinse and then boil the meat ready for storage and cooking yeah so I've washed the the chopping board yeah you don't consume meat the way you took it from the butcher no save yourself from eating the germs by just washing and rinsing so i have already 
washed it and rinsed it. And the reason in a kaivo, which maji moto, I think sana. So in a kani kama imeiba, but I jiva bad. Yeah, so let me cook it and show you how you should store it in your tins and put it in the freezer. Then maybe some of it you can cook. Yeah, so that's the meat. I've cooked with this pot because it's large and it can easily fit. Yeah, for the minced meat, this is the minced meat. Yeah, there is no need of cooking this one because it easily cooks. It's not like the other meat. It easily cooks. So, for this one, I'll just store it in the fridge the way it is. Then, when it is being cooked, now it can be washed in warm water and vinegar and then cooked. Yeah, so I've soaked my towels and the bag that had carried the meat. And the meat is still cooking. Yeah, you can see the oils that I was telling you. So it's not wise to add more oil in, in your meat. Like you just add a little if you must. Otherwise it's still good even without many, without putting oil. Yeah, so let it keep cooking. Till it is ready. Meanwhile, I'm eating my ugali. Yeah, as I watch. Yeah, this is ugali that was previously cooked. Yeah, so other than wasting it, I should eat it for my supper. Yeah, and this is mala. So I'll eat ugali and mala. So the meat is already ready. But I'll wait for it to to get cold. Like, yeah, check kukua moto. Jufai kweka kitu kwa fridge kiwa moto. At least you should wait it cool down. Say kisha cool down do naezaika kwa fridge. So I think I'll wait until tomorrow in the morning. Then package it tomorrow. Then put it in the freezer. So that's the meat in the morning. It has already cooled down and now I want to package it in the dishes. So that's it. That's the meat that I'll put in the fridge. And this one I'll be cooking. Yep. So until our next video. Bye.